Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstraday.com So today we are going to do the types of mutual funds It's a really short video, I'm not going to take much of your time Jaldi jaldi karenge uh, There are three types of funds, three types of funds hai. Open ended, close ended and interval funds, right? Uh, the, the normal funds, right? Jo aap day to day life mein purchase karte hai, sale karte hai Those are open ended funds What happens in open ended funds? Uh, open ended funds are open for investors to enter or exit at any time. What happens in an open ended fund? You can purchase sale or purchase kar sakte ho apne units. Right? But it's an exit load. Hota hai. There is an exit load here. Normally, it is 1% uh, up to uh, if you sell your units within uh, one year or 365 days of purchase. Right? So, open ended funds they are always open. You can uh, Sell, you can purchase the units anytime, you can sell the units anytime. In close ended, it is not open. Up NFO ke time pe you can purchase, but uh, they are redeemable after a specific time, right? Uh, there is no specific uh, time frame when it is closed. So you buy it and you can sell it anytime, right? Uh, <coughs> And it's NAV. Uh, kis rate pe aap sell karoge? Uh, it's on on the basis of its NAV, which is determined every day. Every day, its net asset value, net asset value, is determined. And aap isi rate pe isko sell karoge back to the AMC, from where you are purchasing your uh, you are purchasing the units from AMC. You are purchasing from AMC and you are selling. To the AMC, right? No stock exchanges involved. In the open-ended funds, stock exchanges are not involved. You are buying the units from AMC and you are selling the units to the AMCs only. Distributors are there in between you and AMC, but <clears throat> finally you are dealing with the AMC, right? This is the open-ended fund. A uh, common examples are Kotak multi cap, um, Kotak standard multi cap fund, Reliance large cap, Reliance small cap, lot of funds are there, right? Now, what are close ended funds? So, close ended funds they have fixed maturity. When you can buy them, you can buy them uh, at the time of new fund offering. At the time of NFO, you can buy them, and you can redeem them only uh, only uh, at the end of at the end of the period mentioned on the offer documents right so uh, you cannot redeem them before the maturity right they have a fixed maturity the close ended funds they have a fixed maturity you cannot buy or sell them any point of time to amc but these close ended funds they are listed on stock exchanges listed on stock exchanges and you can go to the stock exchange and then sell them. Of course, uh, uh, if uh, you know you, you go to that uh, stock exchange, there will be the gap. Uh, there will be a gap between uh, the demand and supply. So the selling price won't be equal. Most of the time, selling price won't be equal to the NAV. Most of the times you need to sell it at a discount, right? So you need to sell it at a lower price than NAV, right? So uh, there is a problem of liquidity. It is not that liquid, right? So listing is compulsory for stock ex uh, for close ended funds. Listing in the on the stock exchanges. Listing on stock exchanges is compulsory. You cannot take your money out of the fund before a set maturity. But you can sell it to uh, sell it in a stock exchange, right? I mean, fixed maturity means suppose you bought it from uh, AMC, uh, like Reliance is an AMC, there is an Aditya Birla is an AMC, Kotak is an AMC. You buy the mutual fund unit from a AMC at the time of NFO. You can only buy at the time of NFO, right? But you cannot sell, uh, you cannot redeem it before the maturity date maturity date is normally three year or four year whatever the maturity date is you need to uh, you are going to get your money back at the time of maturity but if you want the money uh, if you need money now you need to go to the stock exchange and you need to find a buyer which is usually really difficult right now there is a third kind of fund which is an interval fund so interval fund i would say interval fund is having benefits of both open-ended funds 
and close ended fund right <clears throat> you cannot sell it at any point of time but there are windows right there are transaction windows they uh, they are known as transaction period there are there is transaction period during which you can buy or sell your units right so it combines the benefits of open ended and close ended schemes uh, for instance uh, in an uh, interval scheme let's say the maturity period is like, let's say one year or two year uh, every 1st to 15th of jan and 1st to 15th of july you can redeem your units right you can redeem it and you can take your money out so twice a year in this particular example uh, you can actually sell your units so that's known as an interval fund and the period during which you can transact is known as a transaction period the interval when this uh, fund becomes uh, an open ended fund this is known as a transaction period and the interval between the true two transaction period is known as the interval period right so uh, between this 15th of jan to 1st of july this period is interval period jan 1st to jan 15 and july 1st to uh, july 15 this is transaction period so transaction period and interval period really important and this question is really important repeated in the exams minimum duration of the transaction period is 2 days and the minimum duration for the interval period is 15 days really really important for transaction period minimum duration 2 days for trans uh, for interval period minimum duration is 15 days so no redemption is allowed uh, except this transaction period after the transaction period it is not allowed you need to wait for the transaction period so interval fund is having benefits of both uh, close ended funds and the open ended funds right so uh, important question little difficult but now i have already told you now it's easy for you so the period when an interval scheme becomes open ended are called transaction period so the period between the close of a transaction period and the opening of next transaction period is called interval period what is the minimum duration of an inter uh, interval period i already told you it is 15 days 2 days for transaction period and 15 days for interval period that's the answer students so students i request all of you to subscribe the bank exam today channel and important books for nism 5a rbi grade b i am listing all the books in the description and i recommend all the students to install bank exams today mobile app i rec uh, recommend all of you to install bank exams today mobile app from google play there you can buy the courses take the test series and download the free notes so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day